Sexy wife asks husband to put sunscreen on her. Then the husband was allowed to go into the sea alone. She woke up to find that her husband had not come back. She looked around along the beach. Calls went unanswered. She asked other tourists but got no clue. She realized that her husband might have drowned when swimming. She hurried to the beach security officer for help, asking for their help in finding a husband. But they're circling the island in search boats. But there was no sign of her husband. She had to call the police nearby. The policeman smiled and reassured her husband that nothing had happened. Because he left wearing nothing but swim trunks. He left his bank card and valuables behind. Just a few words and told her to go back and wait. Who knows she's been here for three months. She sits where her husband disappeared every day. But the husband never showed up. Lena could only return sadly to the hotel. But then the phone rang at the hotel. She quickly got through thinking it was a message from her husband. But it was just a cold call from the hotel. As the days go by, she can't wait for news. After searching in vain, she could only return home sad and confused. She began to sink into the ordinary life. After the beginning of the school, she went back to school to teach the students. In class, she suddenly noticed a familiar face sitting in the classroom, the same security officer who helped her out on the beach that day. The boy always talked to her enthusiastically after class, and invite her to dinner, invite her to a movie. Lena saw that the boy was after her, but she refused without hesitation. She said they could only be friends, because she believes that her missing husband is still alive. She can't forget the little things about being with her husband. She even turned down the rich man her best friend introduced her to. She still stuck in the old days with her husband. Today, I was sorting through my computer. She accidentally found that there was always a mysterious woman beside her husband. A woman's sixth sense told her, something's wrong with this mystery woman. She may have been involved in her husband's disappearance, but this was a man she'd never seen before. The next day she found her best friend, ask her if she knows the mystery woman in the video, but Bestie does not know. Reassure her that she's probably just a colleague. Lena thought she was overthinking it, too. But the next day she got a call from the police. They pulled the body of a man out of the sea. The description matches her description. She summoned up courage and hurried to the police station. Unfortunately, the body was not her husband. Months on end without a husband. The police said to comfort her husband might go out to recover. Husbands have gone missing before, but it wasn't long before he came back on his own. During the time of the disappearance, he went on his honeymoon with another woman. When Lena heard that, she said it was impossible. She and her husband have always had a good relationship, even though he denied it. But the words of the police always come to mind. She always found her husband's disappearance strange. She remembered the mystery woman in the video. She turned on the computer again and took a closer look. She found the mysterious woman always standing not far away to spy on her husband. She had this weird look in her eyes makes her wonder what's going on between them. To find out what happened to her husband, she began to look around, found an invoice in the husband's clothes. The diamond bracelet on it costs one million dollars. The style of the bracelet was unlike anything she had ever seen before. Then to the bank to investigate just no. Two days before the husband disappeared, he withdrew a large sum of money from his account. But her husband kept telling her the account was empty. While she was confused, a policeman suddenly came to the door. That her husband used his position to embezzle public funds. Suspected of one hundred million dollars in economic crimes. The police asked her husband, missing before any exception. Lena said she knew nothing about any of this. The arrival of the police adds to the mystery of the husband's disappearance. In search of the truth, he took the photo of the mystery woman to find her husband's colleague. Ask him if he knows him. Who knows colleagues only look at? Just make sure it's someone you used to work with. But she quit six months ago. The more Lena thought about it, the worse it got. Is the husband still alive? Her husband withdrew huge sums of money from the account behind her back. Have you been looking for the mystery woman? That expensive diamond bracelet he bought. What if it was just for the mystery woman? All the signs made her wonder. The husband's disappearance is linked to the mystery woman. To make sense of it all, she found the address of the mysterious woman's new company online. Just then the doorbell rang. Open the door. It was Jack the paramedic. He made a sincere confession to Lena. Lena turned him down, as she always did. Now her husband's life is uncertain. She can't start a new relationship. Jack, however, said he could wait. He could help with the investigation for her own safety. Lena thought it over and agreed. So that night they stayed downstairs at Mystery Woman. Wait for her to tailgate after work. She bought a lot of food. Enough to feed three people for a week. They continue to follow her to a remote cabin in the suburbs. Didn't notice anything unusual along the way. Jack convinces Lena to go home first. He stayed here alone until dawn. He rang the doorbell on the pretext of a flat tire. He asked if he could use the bathroom. The woman's face was alert and ready to refuse. But he opened the door as soon as he saw Jack's handsome appearance. Entering the house, Jack looked around carefully. There was no sign of a man living. But it's in the corner of the bathroom. He found a strange box. He opened it curiously, but was startled. 
After the wife asked her husband to help put on sunscreen, she allowed her husband to go swimming, but he never came back. After six months of investigation, Lena found out that her husband had withdrawn a huge amount of cash behind her back before he disappeared. He even spent $1 million on a diamond bracelet for a mystery woman. She suspected her husband missing and the mysterious woman. She decided to start her investigation with this mystery woman. Just then, Jack volunteered to help her with the investigation. They followed the mystery woman to a cabin in the suburbs. Jack pulls over to the side of the road. Then he let all the air out of the tires and get the spare tire out of the trunk. Then he went to the hut and rang the doorbell. Jack asks the mystery woman for help with a flat tire. At first, the mystery woman was wary. She hands Jack the tools and watches behind the door. I let my guard down when I saw that he actually changed the tire. Jack offered to use the bathroom when he returned the tools. Look at his dirty hands and handsome face. The woman readily agreed. Jack went in and took the opportunity to investigate. She saw no sign that the man had lived. Jack succeeded in getting the good graces of women with his excellent flirting skills. To avoid suspicion, Jack handed her a business card. He said he could be there if you needed help. Then he left first. After going back, Jack told Lena about the situation. To impress Lena, he decided to go to Mysterious Adventure again the bride side. He invited her to dinner by thanking her for helping him last time. They had a happy barbecue together. He succeeded in gaining the favor of the mystery woman. When Jack went to the bathroom, he overheard a noise coming from the room. Just as he was getting ready to investigate, the mystery woman told him the bathroom was on the other side. Jack took the opportunity to investigate every corner of the house. After seeing the trophy on the table, he picked it up curiously and examined it. Who knows the mysterious woman suddenly shouted in terror. Jack quickly put the trophy back. When the mystery woman realized she was losing her nerve, she takes Jack to the shooting room to play a game together. With their headphones on, they didn't hear anything. Someone sneaked into the basement. She came to the surveillance. There's a man in the basement under terrible conditions. The man has a full beard. Already can't see the appearance of the original. Just as she was about to enter the code, the mystery woman who sent Jack away found her on her return. And this woman turns out to look exactly like our mystery woman. The mysterious woman was angry at her behavior, warned her to do it again and put her in with her. As Jack left, he thought of the woman's violent reaction. Makes him wonder what's the secret to this trophy. He told Lena about the trophy. Where did Lena feel when she heard the name on the trophy? After she went through her father-in-law's things, take out the clippings inside. The information above corresponds to everything Jack described. But the owner died in an accident 20 years ago while on a trip. Only one pair of twins survived. There was a family at the scene of the accident. Could this mystery woman be the girl who survived the accident? The woman wakes up on the beach. She discovered that her husband had mysteriously disappeared. After various leads of investigation, she found her husband missing may be related to a mysterious woman named Katie. 20 years ago, Katie's family was killed in a car accident. To find her missing husband, they dressed up in disguise and then sneak over the wall. Just as they were about to pry open the window, Katie came back suddenly. They had to retreat and make another plan. Katie put on her protective suit and went to the basement to check. The man fights back when he's not ready. Katie put him down with a sedative. The man did not Gandhi ask her why she imprisoned him. Katie asked him if he remembered his car accident 20 years ago. When he was a kid, the camping boy flew a kite outside. The kite landed on the windshield of the moving car. Brake sharply. The truck behind it didn't have time to brake and just rolled over. The girl's parents died at the scene. The girl who survived remembered the boy who flew the kite. And that boy is you. To get to the bottom of what happened. Jack, think of something. He was in charge of asking Katie out. Lena checked the house again. Jack tentatively invites Katie out to play. Thought she agreed. Lena took the opportunity to return to the cabin. She searched the room carefully. Suddenly she saw a girl in a wheelchair in the corner. She looks just like Katie. The girl was unfazed by her intrusion and told her she was Katie's sister. Is to look for a person to know Lena. Her sister told her everything. They're twins who survived a car accident. The accident was caused by a kite blocking the view. The boy flying the kite is her husband. After narrowly surviving, sister has been waiting for a chance to get revenge. She orchestrated the kidnapping. When Lena heard this, she hurried to look for it. Her sister led her to open the passage to the basement. But she didn't know her sister had an alarm system in the basement. If anyone breaks in, Katie's phone will set off an alarm. Katie knew something was wrong when she saw the alarm. Then Jack SMS from mobile phone. Then she knew she had been tricked. She returned home at once. They were long gone by the time Jack found out. Lena, unbeknownst to how, is trying to crack the code, but tried several times to open it. By this time my sister had returned home. She picked up the bat and knocked Lena out. When she woke up from the basement, she finally saw her missing husband. By this time, the husband could not see the original appearance. The husband confessed to her. Because they were married so many years and Lena never had a child. A year ago, he met Katie and fell in love with her. 
bought her an expensive gift of $10 million. She even secretly withdrew all her savings to elope with her. Last time I went missing on the beach. Actually, he went to find Katie on the beach on the other side. But he doesn't know each other. There was a purpose to approaching him from the start. She put medicine in her drink. He's been locked up in this dark basement since he was knocked out. Lena was devastated when she heard that. Not long after, mysterious woman can pull them into the yard and my gun threat. Tell him to kill Lena. When my sister saw it, she worried that her sister would make another mistake. She secretly called the police. She used her father's trophy to talk her sister out of her hatred. But Katie was determined to avenge her parents. Key moment. Jack came just in time to stop it. Tell Lena to run. In contention, Jack was hit. The husband tried to pick up the shotgun from the ground, only to get kicked down again and again by Katie. Suddenly her sister slipped and fell into the well behind her. Finally the police came and took Jack to the hospital in time. When they bring the woman out of the cellar, Katie was frozen and stiff. The husband was put in prison on suspicion of economic crimes. Lena gave up on him. One year later, Lena finally agreed to marry Jack, who had been waiting for her, and gave birth to a lovely baby.